just like us, this little pebble crab is also looking for buried treasures, and we're going to find a few. And here's a good example of what lies beneath us that we don't often see. That around me is a track of a Polynesian sand snail. Beautiful. And here is where she's resting. Oh, there she is. An exquisitely beautiful shell, very large, very fit, and she's one of the predator shells that are around here. They often have a lot of red through them as well, beautifully coloured and variable. So I'll pop her back. And here's another buried treasure. She's known as the uh, southern soldier crab, endemic to Port Phillip Bay, a lovely creature, but um, very, very susceptible to being caught by um, seagulls and more. So that's what she's doing here. She's going underground amongst the other buried treasures. She's also looking for food, but she's protecting herself. When, uh, when they're about in large numbers, they'll have them uh, in thousands spread across the estuaries in some of our rivers. And you can always tell when they're around, even if they're under the ground where they are most of the time, is because of these mounds. Sometimes the mounds are like this one, which she's bearing to hide herself from us. Other times, it's like a big pile of spaghetti. Sand spaghetti, that is. Well, here is something that's nice to see. A magnificent green anemone called Alactus mucosa. But there's four or five different types of enemies in the bay and they're all pretty much the same. But they're remarkable creatures, you wouldn't know it. Only special places that they can rest because they've got to have just an inch or two in the mud to where they hit hard substrate, otherwise they get washed away and they're in trouble. And uh, they breed in an extraordinary number of ways. They bud around the bottom and they clone and they fission and they um, breed with other anemones. So it's a fascinating animal that there should be a lot of research done on. And they eat as the tide's changing a little shrimps and things come through a little fish, they'll actually close over them with those fingers of theirs and inject a little poison into them and then absorb them and then they're open up for another one. They're great fun for kids too, these creatures from under the sand we call them, because if I put my finger in there, oh, see how he's grabbed it? Close your <laughs> They can't hurt us and they'll go for things a lot bigger. Here's an example of that little, if they get, see how he goes, see, I'll rescue it now but it's already been grabbed that little red jelly, little baby one, and before it gets too hurt we'll just let her escape, there you go, but it's drifted on only about 20 centimetres, it's been grabbed by another anemone, one that was under the sand and we didn't see before, and it's in fact been stung enough to actually be destroyed, so unfortunately its life's going to end.